Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. You've heard the expression. So just who is Virginia? Of all the letters to Santa, it's this one about Santa that stands out. You probably know it. Printed in the New York Sun in 1897. Dear Editor, I am eight years old. Some of my little friends say there is no Santa Claus. Papa says, if you see it in the sun, it's so. Please tell me the truth. Is there a Santa Claus? Virginia O'Hanlon, 115 West 95th Street. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus, was the famous response from editor Francis P. Church. He exists as certainly as love and generosity and devotion exist. 120 years later, the Yes, Virginia column is the most reprinted newspaper editorial in history, inspiring books, music, even an animated Macy's TV special. The paper, your letter, Santa, look! <gasps> While the words have traveled far. There's the letter. Virginia O'Hanlon's handwritten note has never left her family. So written in uh, cursive. James Temple is her grandson. Her letter, as I think about it, brings back my childhood. <laughs> and Brock Rogers is her great-grandson, who keeps it in a scrapbook. As a parent of two young kids, I want them to maintain their innocence for as long as possible. And the Yes, Virginia story, the letter, the response that she got is a way to do that for them. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. O'Hanlon, who loved sharing her story, led a life of achievement. Ahead of her times, a modern woman. She earned a master's degree and doctorate in education and for decades was a New York City school teacher and principal. To be a single parent, to end up with a PhD, uh, very remarkable. She died at age 81 in 1971. As for her childhood house in Manhattan, it's now home to the studio school, where her legacy is celebrated for all to see and hear. Please tell me the truth. Is there a Santa Claus? Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. The most real things in the world are those that neither children nor men can see. Janet Rotter is head of the school. What makes it so special is the idea of curiosity, the idea of questioning, which is really at the heart of education, of humanity, of who we are. Dear editor, I'm eight years old. Brock Rogers says the letter is worth tens of thousands of dollars, but it's not for sale. Oh, no, no, that's staying in the family. <laughs> There's no price tag on that. And in a time of viral videos and instant messages, a little girl's query from many Christmases past has a permanent place in our world. It really is a story of hope, and it's a story of bringing people together. There's something there for everybody. Merry Christmas. <laughs>